I've set the time. There's no timers on it. And I have it hooked up to the battery. I'm using hardly anything when it comes towards amps. And the battery's at 12 point something except this probe keeps moving. So if I hold the probe on, 12.6. That's the sand to bring the diesel through. It's these two, and you get this. So it's pumping the diesel through. At which point, the battery is all over the place. 12.4, roughly. 12.4. And it's using eh, point something amps. When it stops pumping the diesel up, then the battery stabilizes around about 12.5 and again point zero something of an amp. Okay. Let's fire this puppy up and see what happens. So, it's on, starting up, I can hear it whooshing, okay, so it's making a whooshing noise, battery's down to 12.3, that's about 5 amps, Batteries went down to 12.2, amps have went to about 7. I'm definitely getting exhaust fumes, that's for sure. Definitely picking up now. You can hear it. Holy moly. It's like a jet engine. Batteries 12.1, and it's about 8 amps roughly. It's certainly packing up. It's getting louder. Definitely getting louder. Battery wise, 12.3. About one amp. Just about ready for takeoff. Please fasten your seat belts. Um, maybe some turbulence. That is a full welly! It's actually not that loud, I'm just kind of doing that for dramatic effect. But it is definitely warm, you can definitely feel it. For batteries and stuff, batteries at 12.3 and it's about 4 amps while it's running. Well, it's quieting down a bit. That's for sure. And uh, it's on full pelt. It's definitely chucking out a good heat. I'm not sure what temperature ran right off. I should really have brought a thermometer. That would have been a good idea. But for the battery, 12.3 is using about 2 amps roughly when it's on a kind of purring away mode. Okay, this is like a greenhouse. I'm trying to turn this thing off. Uh, oh, before I do, battery's at 12.3A and it's using about 2 amps. So, let's see what happens when I turn that off. Off. So it's going to put the off type of mode thing. Oh, slowing down a bit. Battery at 12.34 to uh, 3 amps roughly. 3.5 amps, nearly 4. So it's using more amps and more voltage as it shuts down, it seems. Yeah, you have forgot to try something. You get the whole uh, key fob thing. I forgot to try that, but. Uh, I've been just uh, trying it on that. 
So yeah, the key fob thing just works straight out of the box. Didn't have to pair it nor nothing. Oh, and you can use it to go off and on. My final top tip though is try and make sure that the exhaust pipe doesn't actually touch your carpet. Oops. So basically, final score is that when it's completely off, completely shut down, the battery is at 12.59. So it's hardly even moved from when I first put it on. That's pretty damn good. And the whole thing is totally legit because the manual has got two certificates in it. So that means it is totally, totally legit.